Okay, so as we last left things, we had just gotten to Green Lion Antiques, which seemingly was identified by Dahlia as the town's other church. So, let's look around a bit. It doesn't look too churchish, but this seems suspicious. There's a trace on the floor that someone moved the cabinet. Do you want to push the cabinet? Sure, why not? What's this? Oh, Harry. look who's back. Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. You have no idea, lady. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. Roads are completely crumbled Phones away. Phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? <laughs> On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. There's nowhere for her to go. There's monsters everywhere. She's fine. So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. <laughs> and? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> well, that's a snap they judgment. Sell it to the tourists. <laughs> the force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? <laughs> they both had the same reaction. Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Big hole in the wall. What's this? Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. I'm the protagonist. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream? What are you talking about? Must be on drugs. I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? Oh, see, hallucination. You're definitely on drugs. I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. 
was just wondering. Never mind. Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. <laughs> Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. But we're gonna go in here anyway. So we find this tunnel, which ends in yet another hole in the wall. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. There's powder left in the chalice, but there's nothing really we can do with the altar. Now there is one thing here I completely forgot about, this axe. If you'll pick it up, there we go. It's another melee weapon. The thing is, though, it is a lot shorter range than the hammer. The hammer takes longer to use, but has more power, and it has farther range. The axe, it's faster, but weaker. So, it's all trying to find balance. What works for you? So let's get out of here. <gasps> what the? Or not. Meanwhile... Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Harry? Well, maybe you're on drugs, lady. And suddenly we're back at the hospital Where with Lisa. I? Harry. Lisa? That I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Or a bad trip. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure... Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh, the fruitcake. Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Yeah, yeah, no comments. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Hey, more informative than anyone else we've met so far. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again?
Now that's an interesting statement. But we'll come to that much later. So our objective is to get back to the hospital yet again. And, uh, we're decidedly back in the dark world. Wonderful.